A mentis went a little caliente, y que wites, and Jenna can you respect that? I make some mistakes, and I'm not proud of that, but I don't want to be with another girl. I want to be with you. Can't you get over that shit? It wasn't me who went around on your phone and started texting an ex, telling her that I wanted to share the gift that you got me and wanted to share it with her. I didn't do that to you, yo. You did it to me. And I forgave you, and I gave the fucking feeling of, of feeling insecure and being that girl. Stop being insecure. If I could do it and forgive and forget, and forget to feel like I even felt like I fucking regretted loving you. And that doesn't mean that I regretted you either, because I already know you. The point is, is that I am over it, baby. I'm still here. Quit driving me crazy, God damn it. You're gonna drive an old lady into a grave, I'm telling you. You're driving me crazy, crazy. Baby boo. I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oop to you. Just quit being a fucking buzzkill. Love me back, boo. And I'm not saying you don't love me. Because I know you love me. But I want to be placed above everybody else. I want to be your number one, and I feel like I earned that spot, because I came in first place, God damn it. <laughs> I put in the work, and I put in the pain, and I put in the solution, and I put my all into it. I put my forever in you, and I'm going to spend my last years on heaven and earth, earth and heaven, and I want to spend it with you. I don't think of other girls. I don't think of anything but you and me. And even if I'm going crazy and having a nervous break down to the ground, 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 I still fucking think of, damn, I love that fucking bitch, man. She has me over here thinking of gifts to give, and I'm thinking, I'm about to lose my mentita, sweetie. I'm still thinking about how to make you smile. Cause damn, girl, that smile is like a million dollar contagious things you want to do, I love it when you do it to me and you smile at me, boo. But you haven't been doing it lately. I kind of forgot what it looks like. Quit trying to play me and take away the best thing that I love. I love to see you smile, baby. I love to see that wicked, wild, crazy look in your eyes. The way you mesmerize those sexy eyes. I just love the way you work your eyes when you're looking my way. Cause I, I know that I look so mighty fine in your eyes. I would love to see my fine ass in your eyes. Damn, I'd get two fucking good things in one look. Damn, I feel like I won the world. Then it's all one look. All it took was to feel like I got me in you. And I see me in you. And the love that I have is true. And it's not perfect. It's not the best. It isn't because it's not healthy, but I love you and your mind, and I think it's the best for me, but it could get a little bit better, because it has, shit, we know it's a bit better, we don't beat each other up no more, don't lie, don't lie, <laughs> come on baby, we've been to the worst, now let's work to our best, we've been at our worst, now let's work to our best, come on bro, we look better when we're both best stressed, Come on, don't be playing me for no fool. Don't be playing me for a fool, Jeanette. I'm telling you, fool. Quit playing fucking games, goddammit. You look like a little girl, and I'm not an old man who's a pervert dating a little girl. Be a woman. Own this woman who wants to be with a woman, because I'm tired of feeling like I'm dealing with this 16-year-old little girl throwing tantrums, you bad little girl. Come on, baby, don't make me feel like I'm a fucking beep beep. Chaser, little freaker that's gonna become a probation fucking violator. The fuck, getting thrown in jail and get butt raped. I don't want to be raping. Feel like I'm raping my partner. I don't want to feel like that, babe. Don't act like a little girl. You're not. Throwing tantrums and this shit. Karen bought an otter box just so you wouldn't break our phone because she would be afraid to not get a hold of me and you. Because she wants to know. 
Me and you are getting along, baby. That we're not driving each other crazy. She wants to know that me and you are taking our time and we're doing fine. She just wants us to be happy, boo. She wants us to be happy. And she's going through her own things, baby. And all she wants is our happiness. What about hers? What about hers? And she's thinking about ours. Isn't that so immaculate? I love my Auntie Karen. And I share her with you. And she's so special. And I share her with you. My Auntie moved from the dinner table away from me to you. My dog fell out of me being her number one love to you being her number one love. Now I'm number two. And Karen knows she's number three. And we let it go and we let you be number one. But you need to see that we're not saying this to throw it in your face. We're saying this to say, Why you number one? Take your place. <laughs> Fucking A, bro. Own it. Don't push it away or make it feel like, I'm going to fuck this thing up and I'm going to make it one astray. No, that's no play. That's no good. That's not the way it should be. You need to be an owner. Quit owning, quit disowning your shit. Own it. Own this. You have my heart in your hand. And I took all the time and strength to demand that I get past this pain that I'm feeling, this confusion of disgust. And with the blink of an eye, Jehovah answered my prayer, and I feel like I am going to grow. Yeah, I'm going to grow so fucking old, and that's fine. I'll be an old lady, but as long as I know you're there, shit, I will be an old lady. <laughs> I didn't want to be on Earth very much longer because I didn't want to see all the negativity but since I've met you, Anjanette, I'll take all the negativity in the world if it means I can be with you. Can't you see this? Now, there you are, knocking at the door. Oh, shit, I better hold and put this down because this is part of your gift for Valentine's Day. So, I love you. Mwah. Quit being mean and be a better baby. I hope this touches your heart because I love you.